Welcome back to Ice Ox TV. Joseph Zakszewski with you, joined alongside head coach Jeremy Colleton for the Forest City Diagnostic Imaging Diagnosis of the Game as the Ice Hogs welcome in the Bakersfield Condors tonight here at BMO Harris Bank Center. And coach, I mean, first and foremost, how nice is it to finally be back home? You're on the road the last two weeks, including a stop in Bakersfield for the first ever meeting between the two clubs. But I'd imagine between the trip to California, the swing to the Midwest, and Cleveland and Grand Rapids, it was nice to uh, see your family and probably sleep in your own bed for a minute. Yeah, it wasn't... Uh wasn't a bad thing for sure. Get home for a couple of days, and uh, you know it's, you're always more comfortable at home. Uh, guys feel better on the ice, uh, just how it is. But uh, you know we we weren't unhappy on the road. We got some points, good performance. Uh, we we're just looking to continue that momentum. Um, you know I think we took some steps as far as uh, our approach and being uh, you know professional for 60 minutes. You know and that's why we we got uh, the results we did. So. We're looking to continue that right from puck drop tonight. Now, before we dive into tonight's matchup against Bakersfield, certainly uh, more news coming out of the Ice Hogs locker room as well as with the Chicago Blackhawks. seems like every day the roster's changing in some capacity. Either you're getting guys back or, or guys are arriving from the team. You get Gustav Forsling coming down from Chicago. But also I see defenseman Luke Snuggerud and goalie J.F. Barube out there taking full practice as well. So it seems like at one point you were trying to piece together and piecemeal a roster to throw out there and, and be competitive. But now it seems like you have plenty of options to pick from. Yeah, it's good to have uh, some competition and uh, makes for some tough decisions and sometimes tough conversations. But uh, I think that you know that competition for ice and, and opportunity will push everyone to be a little bit better. And uh, you know, I think that's that's healthy. So excited to uh, you know, there's always going to be change. It's not going to be the end of the change, but uh, you know, certainly we feel like the, the lineup we have will uh, is good enough to win. And in terms of Forsling just arriving, looking up here in his first Ice Hogs game uh, in a little while. In fact, he was with the organization a good bit last year. But, I mean, what are your expectations for him, a young guy that you're going to put into the mix? But, uh, obviously, he's going to be looking to get that call to go back pretty soon. Yeah, he's, uh, he's got some experience at the NHL level and uh, played very well uh, for long stretches. So, we know he's a very good player. You know, I think it's challenge for a lot of these guys when they come down is not to try to do too much you know stay within themselves uh, they're good enough players skilled enough players that they'll make plays they will they'll do do lots that, that can help us win and make an impact on the game uh, but we want them to be clean with the puck make uh, make crisp flat passes and advance the puck and he'll create offense from that he's got a big shot too so um, as usual you know defend hard of the lines and uh, I think he'll slide right in for us. Now tonight's contest is the second and final meeting between the Ice Hogs and the Bakersfield Condors. You saw them just a couple of weekends ago out in Bakersfield. This is a West Coast style team that they play hard, they play heavy. So, I mean, your expectations going into tonight because, yeah, your series is over after this evening, but at the same note, two points are up for grabs. Yeah, I, I thought we were pretty good there. Um, you know, a little bit unfortunate to, to not get the two points, especially based on our our first, first two periods. Uh, the first period there, it was as good as we played. Um, so that was, uh, I'd like to recreate that again. I think our speed matches up well against their team. So we'll be looking to push the pace and uh, put pucks behind their D and really put pressure on them. And, uh, you know, if we do that, then we'll, I think we'll put ourselves in a good position to have success tonight. Jeremy, thank you for your time. Good luck tonight. Thank you. Head coach Jeremy Collin joining us here for Ice Hogs Warm Up for the Forest City Diagnostic Imaging Diagnosis of the Game. Puck Drop is next here at BMO Harris Bank Center. You're watching Rockford Ice Hogs Hockey on the Ice Hogs Broadcast Network.